Stepped away in the back, where we're starting a new project, new for Signal Tone, quite new for an Iman in Europe. But just wanted to show you this system. We are already selling to Renault in America um, an infrared, a coded infrared transmitter, which you carry in your hand and you keep your house keys on the keychain here. And it, uh, which is designed to operate the central door locking system on certain cars. In fact, it's on the Alliance at the moment. Wow, that's really a small item. Well, well that'd be nice to it, carry in your in your uh, car, wouldn't it? Because uh, the, you're used to larger <laughs> larger pieces of equipment. Well, yes, that actually gets carried in your pocket, though, Gary. That's what you. That's your key. Uh -huh. And this this bigger part here goes in the car. And the idea is, when you approach the car, you simply operate this, and it is battery operated infrared transmitter and the receiver in the car picks up the signal at a distance of about two meters and automatically opens the doors so you don't need the actual mechanical key to operate the doors and it's very good in the evening time or in rainy weather or other inclement weather and what, what we're involved in the moment although we don't do the actual assembly we cut the codes for the transmitter there are upwards of 54,000 different combinations for the two and that involves cutting the printed circuit on the small inter internal part of the transmitter. We cut it in certain ways according to a certain number and code arrangement. Uh, and we can provide extra transmitters for those people in the United States who already have this system on the vehicle and they simply require an extra transmitter for the wife or the daughter or whoever. Um, later on we're going to expand this to the general market where we would make a package of transmitter and receiver which would sell for retrofit on virtually any car but particularly those cars that already have a central locking system and we started off in this small way with a well proven item it's patented and we're very excited about it we think it's going to get very popular in the united states now you're speaking of opening car doors with this yeah. So not, far, not garage doors, but car doors you're talking of, right? That's correct, Gary. So far, that is the only application, but of course, there are many other potential applications, including priming the burglar alarm on your car, or even opening your house door, your garage door, switching HBO on, <laughs> or switching channel TV3 on, if you really wish, <laughs> remotely. So really, that's quite a, quite a change that could really affect all cars being produced, uh, could it not, if these were to be all installed in cars in the future? Well, I think so, yes. It's well known that there are many problems with uh, mechanical locks, particularly corrosion and freezing up in the wintertime. And they're also relatively expensive, relatively crude. They haven't changed for a long time. And if this system can be further extended to automatically start the car, set the burglar alarm system, as I mentioned, and any other applications where you need to remotely control systems within the car, then itself it will be a more... Uh, economic item to produce and more attractive to the customer for that reason. So we, yes, we have many high hopes for the thing. I should also mention that being infrared, uh, it's uh, not a radio signal. It's very difficult for anybody to pirate the signal. It's very difficult to uh, stand on the other side of the car with a receiver and find out what the code just transmitted to the car was. So uh, oh, that'll probably start in 84, we're hoping, and we've got a lot of work to do on it. But so far, with the system already in the United States for over a year, we've had some very good results. Very good. Where else do we go from here? Okay, we'd like to take you down on the main production area and show you the actual assembly of horns and wiper blades.